What is up everyone? I hope you're doing well. A very long overdue video is a review on the Nike SF Air Force One Mid. Now, these came out in 2017 and I got these back in September of 2018 for a really good deal on StockX. And so you, these came out in a ton of different colorways and you can definitely find still a lot of them out there on the market. I got these on StockX for $90 and I think retail was around $150, $160. I could be wrong on that though. But this is a super cool shoe because in concept, it's kind of like if you took the Nike SFB and an Air Force One and you like smashed them together, this is kind of the shoe that would be the child of those. There are properties from the SFB and a lot from the Air Force One, but at the end of the day, this is a sneaker and this is a actual Air Force One with kind of military inspiration into it. And so it's not a super technical shoe. However, I believe that this shoe does stand up much better against kind of crappier weather than a standard Air Force One. Um, and also the aesthetics work really well in styles such as tech wear, where you do get some of that military inspiration into the looks. So breaking down this shoe, it is built on a normal Air Force One platform. Um, so you basically have 1980s sneaker technology in here. Uh, this one, this particular one has like this nice hazel color on the sole, but that's just all aesthetics. Moving on to the upper part, that's where things start to get different. And the main leather they use in the midsection and on the toe box, it's a super soft tumble leather. I believe it's tumble leather, but I'm not like a huge sneaker head, so. Moving on to like the laces right here, these are rope laces that are taken from that military boot to kind of carry over some more of that aesthetic. And then they do have metal eyelets as well, again carried over from that military boot. And then moving on to this heel part right here, this is ballistic nylon. Again carried over from that SFB. Um, it is actually quite strong, but there's no padding on the inside here. And I'll get to like a sizing issue later on in this video. So that's pretty cool. A small detail right here, it says Urban Utility Footwear, type SF Air Force One Mid, Department Fall Autumn 17, some gibberish, some more gibberish, and then Division, Goddess of Victory, because Nike. Now, a pretty interesting part of these SF Air Force Ones is definitely the way that you put your foot in and you secure it to your foot. You don't actually lace it up. Like I think I've only laced these maybe the like one time when I first got them. Uh, there is this optional strap right here. You can't completely remove it. It's just like a little buck right there and then you can pull it out and then take it out. Uh, I usually keep it in because I like the look of it. Kind of gives a shoe a little bit of character. However, my friend has these tan ones and he took the strap off because he didn't really like it. Still looks good. Um, so Nick, show the fit. So that is a nice option that you have with this shoe. But, so to put on the shoe, just open that buck right here and then pull this tab down and then you have two zippers come down and then kind of like a rear tongue pops out and then you slide your foot in there and then zip it completely up. Kind of like with the acronym Presto. However, on an Air Force One, what? And these don't have like a locking zipper on it, but it is heavy duty. It's held up pretty great. Uh, no complaints with the way it secures to your foot. So, I believe that is kind of everything about the shoe. Now onto some more gripes I have with the shoe. Now, I did mention about this ballistic nylon right here that it can cause some sizing issues. And that's because this nylon doesn't have any padding here on the inside heel. Now, if you kind of compare the nylon to the normal Air Force One, this one has padding that takes up space and supports your foot more. This one doesn't in the heel. So it runs a little bit big. I did grow true to size. However, sometimes I will double up my socks. Not a huge deal. The insole they use in these, it's super, super cushiony. Uh, I'm not sure why it's glued down so I can't pop it out, but that's just something small to note. Now, one of the things that make these a little more inclined to poor weather is where the tongue kind of meets the toe box and the mid part of the shoe right here, there's no gap in between the tongue and this. So let's say you're walking in some snow, that snow is not gonna get into your shoe as easily. However, these are not water resistant, they don't advertise them to be, but it's things like that 
that make it a little more inclined to poor weather. I do think this shoe would be a prime candidate for like one of those water resistant sprays. Um, however, it's not like super rainy where I am and I've even worn these like and walk through puddles and I've been completely fine so I don't think you go out and you need like water resistant capability um, because at the end of the day this is kind of just a daily beater sneaker that works well with tech wear aesthetics. So when it comes to styling this shoe it's not super hard however because it's an Air Force One it's a little bit bulkier of a shoe for, but for some reason this seems a little bit slimmer than the normal Air Force One. It could be because it's like black which is a more slimming color and then in combination with this nylon heel and it doesn't have the padding it just becomes a little bit slimmer i'm not sure like am i does it look a little bit slimmer maybe it's just because it's black and that's a slimming color i don't know but some of my favorite fits i've worn with these is this one is definitely one of my favorites where i have some slim tapered cargos that i roll two times so it doesn't stack weird on the sneaker. And then I have like a gray key texture and then a gray green ULD jacket and like a bag and a beanie. Um, that's one of my favorite fits. And then another similar note, I do have some 511 Apex pants that I did pin roll. And actually I'm wearing them right now and kind of the hazel kind of goes well with the green. Uh, maybe not in this lighting, but out and about it's not super noticeable. So it's a nice, combination of those two and then I'm wearing a hoodie and a North Face vest so a little bit of streetwear fit because of the hoodie but not a huge deal and then lastly just recently in my lookbook video I had this one fit I really like it's crop pants with these and then a soft shell fleece and just like a little bag throughout all those the fits weren't overly military inspired because this shoe already takes a lot of inspiration from a military boot i don't want to have the rest of my fit be super military because then it might kind of give off a little bit of a weird vibe if it's like too military um, but other than that that's kind of my only style tip if you guys have a pair of these because i know they're quite popular in tech wear drop a comment below how you style it because i would like to learn from you guys i'm sure everyone else would like those tips as well okay don't want to take up too much time right here however i just did a quick search on nike sf air force one mids just to show you guys kind of where you guys can buy some so right here on StockX, these are ones i got and right now let's see if we just pop down the sizes um some pretty good deals at 12 is actually the most expensive but i, I feel like most people are in this range right here uh, which are some good deals. So if you just go back to Google, um, these guys right here with the gum soles, those would work, the all black ones would work. Even the higher ones I think look cool. With the white sole, there's one more one. Oh yeah, the all white ones might look kind of cool if you get them kind of dirty as well. Um, on Nike.com, these are the only ones they still have. Uh, they do have this, this gray pair. Um, it looks like to be more of a suede and not as military inspired, um, but they still look cool. Um, so yeah, um, super brief, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of where you could, where you could cop. Right, thank you guys for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. So if you're in the market for these, I hope you can get a good deal on them and get the color that you want. I'm going to try and link as many places as I can below, but anyways. Uh, oh, side note, I do have a mic coming in the mail, so hopefully I don't have crappy audio anymore. So that's something to look forward to. I'll see you in a video very soon.